guys, sorry about Hi guys, welcome back. Welcome back guys. Something was wrong there. I had to go onto my channel for a sec just to make sure. But it's it's going okay, okay? It's going okay. We are back. We are back guys. I know it's been it's been quite a while since I last done this. But we're back now because why why was it delayed? You ask? All because I was trying to do my work and that and that since the past few weeks. And now we're back. So let's finish off where so this is where we left off. Okay. It's where we left off left off because we had I had to add the path before I started. Okay. It's going very good right now. I think first I'm just gonna go add the security. Where do I want the security to be? Um no the check in. Check in. Brennan, Brennan Dibble called to yo, he, he said yo, welcome to the stream. Hi Charlie, welcome to the stream. We're going to go get this checking done. I mean, like my speaking is awful. My speaking is awful, it is. Like, yeah, I think what we're going to do is going to add the checking. So, I think what we're going to do is like, uh, let's fly. Three blocks high. And then three blocks high, yep, exactly three blocks high. So it's three blocks high, okay. And then next, I'm gonna go add like have a three blocks high, and then and then like I mean like the checking is like all the way around here. Check in. What we want to do is when we want to get some slabs, don't we? We want to get some oak slabs. There we go. There we go. There's the first part of the check-in. So if you wanted to check in like back here, you can. You can check in back here. The cases. Um, we might do. How many blocks is it again? One, two. One, two. One, two, three. And then one, two, three. No, I'm making a mistake here. Okay. Next. See, we've got the other part of the check in, guys. We've got the other part of the check in. Done. I'm making like, I'm making like an airport, Charlie. That's what I'm making right now. He said, what are you making, George? It's okay, because um, I'm just making, like, a check-in. You know how airports are? Um, I'm trying to make, like, a check-in, like, area. So I can, like... Let's go. And then this is going to be the massive door. Oh no, I've made a mistake here. I've made a mistake. I've literally made a mistake here, guys. I have made a mistake here. And then, and then we're going to add the door through here. At the door. At the door. So I need a door next. Door. We're going to add some blue concrete on top. So guys, this is where this is where you normally go if you want to go check out. You can go like check in, like check in, like um. I need to go to Stampy, Stampy Longhead Airport, Robots. So like the check in. This is where this is where the check in comes in. So you got the check-in right here, yeah. And then next, the next we want to go do is the security guys. We want to do the security like so guys. We got like plenty of room for our check-in.
got many of them. This is like our checking area. This is like our checking area. Okay. This is, this is, so, this, so when you walk in, so when you, so when other people walk in, you say, um, can I have your passport, please? Yeah, 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 yeah. you can, you can. So next, we want to go do is like a. I wanna know how how do we how do we even make like how do we make like um no 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 you can security security we can carry suitcases down we can carry suitcases down we can carry them. So guys, that's our checking done behind the scenes of the check-in this is the check-in guys and say can I have your passport please and all that and then you have to go oh I missed a queue guys I missed a queue Mr. Q if well if you wanted to go if you wanted to go somewhere this is the place you want to go so now next so next you want to go like Uh, I'm gonna go add some like iron bars. I forgot some iron bars. No, this is all going terribly wrong. Go terribly wrong! <laughs> it's all going terribly wrong, guys. Got the, got the chat. Got the chat going. Good, good. Guys, if you want to, if you want to go to the check-in area, you can just like, just like go to here, and just like check in over here, and then you'll be done. And we're heading straight to the next section, guys. Next section. Next section is um, what's the security? How to how to build a security? How to build security inside? How to build security? in Minecraft. Basically, this is what I want to do. I'm sorry about that, guys. I'm sorry about that. It's okay. Especially, you have to check in. You have to check in, like... This is our canvas. This is where we're going to be building into today's episode. So, let's go and get started, then. So, this is going to be where the, the security bot is. And that is the first thing that I want to, to build. That's the, the thing that I'm most uh, excited about building. And uh, I need to, to start building it uh, around about here. I'm just doing a little bit of a, of a gap between the, the wall here, so you can walk around this side. But this is basically... But 
This is gonna be where the the ch look. No, I've, I've done it completely wrong, guys. I've done it completely wrong. I need to build like the checking like area like completely different. You see? I need to build it completely different. Okay. See, guys, it took me like an hour to do this thing. Now we've done the floor, guys. Wait, let's wait till the let's wait till he does the floor. Once he's done the floor, then we can. I think it makes it a pretty cool effect on the, the floor. And then the, the entire airport, I guess, is basically going to be split in half, I guess, is the, the best way to, to put it. So there's going to be the entire check-in area here. And then there's going to be the other area, which is going to be departures and security, which is going to be basically one big room and then one little uh, side area. Where and then I'm going to have, like... A duty-free shop, which is just going to have a, a few... So basically, of guys, you have, like... And, I don't know, some food and, I don't know, kind of... So basically, guys, I'm going to build like a check-in area, and next we're going to build a security area, wherever it is. Rubbish that you find in, uh, in duty free shops that uh, normally inside of airports. So I've pretty much, I think, got the, the floor done that I needed uh, in the, the area where the, the check-in's going to, to be. Uh, so that's going to start working out exactly where the, the walls are going to be. So if you want to build this yourself, the best way to do it is you see this pillar here. Go one across, and then one more across, and then this is where the the counter is going to, to start. So this is. Um, one across. going to, to be where the, the check-in is. It's like two, yeah. Going to, to begin, and we need to go one, two, three, one, two, three, and then here is going to, to be the, the wall. One, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, and here's going to be the wall. Which is going to be going to the, the security. And then we just need a doorway, which is going to be right about here, which is going to be... A right about here. Where you walk through to, to get to, to security. So these walls are going to go all the way up to the, the very top of the, the ceiling. I'm just going to up to the very top of the ceiling guys up to the very top of the ceiling very top of the ceiling Gonna be going all the way up to the very top of the ceiling, guys. Build them up a, a little bit more for now, and then fully. Uh, I guess you could probably carry on these, and then this wall can go all the way back over in that direction as well. And then behind is going to be the duty free. Oh, sorry, no, no, not, not there, Polly. Not this wall. Not this wall. Just the ones that I've built up a, a little yeah. bit. This is going to be where the the check-in area is going to be. So this is basically the the countertop that you're you're standing on right now, Polly. And then this is where our our bots are going to to be. So there's going to be basically two. Um, two check-in bots that are going to be standing here and then they're going to be the ones that are checking in all of your, your luggage and, okay, and everything okay, else you. So okay. let's do them first. There's a bunch of other things I need to do in here, but let's do them first because I've been waiting to show you these bots for, for absolutely ages because I think they're adorable and amazing and I just can't wait to, to show you. So the, the bodies need to be droppers, actually. So let me go and uh, craft some... Uh, some they need, need to be droppers. What? Because uh, they're basically going to, to fire you your boarding passes. So <laughs> that's going to be the, the purpose for them so that's the that's basically the bottom uh, that
Uh, I need to go get some smooth stone. What was that? Uh, the body, and then the top, and this is the part that makes them amazing. Like that, guys, you see? Like that. It's going to be these observer blocks. See, it's easy to do. It's going to be added to the console version. And they have a bunch of it's different easy, ways. It's easy, really easy. They're very functional. They have lots of purposes. I think, though, 95% of the time I'm going to use these blocks is just for decoration because they look cool rather than act. This is what I would do, guys. I would do it like that. See? Now I've got a very first bot. Yes! Ha <laughs> ha! No, it's on the second block. I'm going to do it on the second block, guys. I'm going to do it on the second block. Ha <laughs> ha! You see, guys? Ha 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 ha! I got my got my checking up there. Got my checking up there. How much? Just like a robot face, it looks like. I don't know how much on purpose that is, but I think it is absolutely perfect for our needs. And these are going to be what our robots are going to, to look like. Uh, they need some arms as well. So let's go and uh, make some uh, some levers. We can go and plonk one on this side and one on that side there, like that. And then this means, let's just say that these wooden planks are boarding part. Let's go get some levers, guys. Let's go get some levers. How can you even add them? No, you can't. Can you? You can't even add them! What the heck is going on? I can't even add them, guys. Why can't I add them? Guys, I don't really need arms. If I don't need levers, then I don't need levers, okay? Just remove the levers. Just stone block there. Stone block there. I got my security bot. No, my checking bot, I mean. I'm checking but it's going good guys. But look. Put that there, good. Got it on there, that block there. Every time you go and shake their hand, I guess, then they can uh, give you a boarding pass. And that's basically the only function that they actually have. And everything else is going to, to be automatic. So to the side of them, this is gonna
Official what? Be where you're going to, to place the, the luggage down and then also to the side of this one, which is going to, to be here. So let's just go and build in the, the, the other check-in bot first then. So we've got the... And that's just kind of normal stone. We have the, the dropper. The observers basically face whichever way you're looking as you place. You've got to make sure you place them the right way around. It's kind of different to, to kind of the way I expect it. Normally when you place... A... Like a piston or something, it's placed the way you're facing, so it's going to be the other way around that you would expect. But there we go, there's the other observer bot. Okay, guys, what we're doing right now is we're doing like. Like that. Don't really need arms, guys. See, guys, we're doing it like that, guys. You see? We go all the way up to the ceiling, guys. We're gonna go all the way up to the ceiling. Let's go build the ceiling, guys. Guys, look, we are doing good. We're doing good here. And actually, I'm not finished yet. I haven't even finished with the design. There is more. There is more detail. So the next thing we need to, to add to my check-in bot are hats. They need to have hats. Orange is the, the uniform here. So here are going to, to be their, their orange hats. We can put one there and one there. And Guys, we need to go forget about hats. The hats are going to be light blue carpets. Yes, we added hats, guys. We managed to add hats.
No, we want to add some levers, guys. We want to add some levers, don't we? Oh, why does it do that? Why does it do that, guys? I don't know why it does that, but... I can't even add them on here, though. Let's go, guys. Let's go. absolutely fantastic but they're not formally dressed yet they need to look even smarter than they do right now and to do that we are going to need to have some ties and then these banners are going to be ties so that if we go and uh, put on these item frames like that and then put the banners in the item frames it kind of looks like they're, they're, they're wearing the Does our arms and ears. Let's go add some item frames, guys. Item frames, item frames. Can't add item frames, guys, so we'll just have to do it as normal. With no with no guys. That's our layout, that's our layout. Ties a little bit, doesn't it? And then the blocks can still fire up like that. So there we go. There are our two beautiful looking checkered bots. So now I would need to do all of the, the different systems that there's going to be for actually going and checking in your luggage. So as I said, you to bring your luggage. Out of concrete, we still might need. chest and put that into a minecart and do it that way once i get um shulker boxes then it will work even better but this uh, this will do for for now and so the first thing you need to do is you need to go and weigh your luggage you need to weigh your luggage and if it's too heavy then you have to, to pay extra in order to, to have it so it's very important that your luggage doesn't weigh too much and so the way we're going to do the the way we're going to do the way oh so we need pressure plates guys we need pressure plates just so that just so that See how much our suitcases weigh. Like, see, Put them. <laughs> Which sounds weird to, to say. Uh, is going to, to be with a comparison uh, comparator and some redstone. So basically, you know let's go, guys. Let's go. Let's go. 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 go, go. Basically, we're going to have a redstone repeater. We need a redstone repeater, guys. Where are they? Where are they? What does he say? 
these banners are going to be ties so that if we what does he say that we need these item frames like that and then put the banners in the item frames it kind of looks like they're, they're they're wearing neckties a little bit doesn't it and then the blocks can still fire out like that so there we go there are our two beautiful looking checking bots so now i would need to do all of the, the different systems that there's going to, to be for actually going and checking your luggage. so as i said you bring your luggage and put it in chest and put that into a, a mine cart and do it that way once i get um shocker boxes then it will work even better but this uh, this will do for for now and so the first thing you need to do is you need to go and weigh your luggage you need to weigh your luggage and if it's too heavy then you have to, to pay extra in order to, to have it so it's very important exactly your luggage doesn't weigh too mm. much and so the way we're going to do the the way we're going to do the weighing <laughs> which sounds weird to, to say uh, is going to, to be with a comparison uh, character and some redstone so basically do you know how this works if i put this next to the the weighted pressure plate basically the red redstone comparator guys we need redstone comparator Oh, redstone comparator. Redstone comparator. Is going to go further along. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Let's go, 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 go. So if I just go and put down a few blocks, uh, you'll see that the redstone is only going to go to, to there. But if I go and put down quite a lot more blocks like this, then you can see that the redstone is stretched to, to there. So that's going to be the, the very simple method we're going to, to use for. We need redstone. We need redstone. Redstone, redstone, redstone. Let's say, like, let's say, like, if we want to put, like, a book, like, a bookshelf on there, yeah. It's all going to work, guys. It's all going to work. What's next, guys? What's next? What's next? So, uh, we got some redstone lamps, which I'm okay, going to okay, put okay, down okay. on some yeah, yeah, stone. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so let's just go and put some stone there, and then some stone here as well. And then we put the, the redstone lamps on top, and then that basically means... It's fine, Charlie. Set off. Then that means it's okay. that the, the luggage is too heavy, and then you need to pay twice as much in order to, to be able to, to take it on the, the plane. So basically, if I go and uh, pile on everything I'm going to put in my suitcase on here, and then if that light gets set off, there we go. That means my luggage is too heavy. So in a minute, I can put a sign on the, the front of them. Oh, and... that's what we need. We need, like, like smooth stone. What's a smooth stone? Where's the smooth stone? There it is. Smooth stone. Now we need like a redstone lamp. Redstone lamps. Where are the redstone lamps? Where are they? Yes. <coughs> Where are the pressure plates then? Go on. Redstone lamp and that. See, like, look. Let's 
I'm saying like if you want to go get like. That's really heavy, isn't it? It's really heavy, isn't it? It's got to be heavy. You have to pay extra for that, guys. You have to pay extra for that. So, obviously... So, obviously, like, we got, like, a stone comparator there. I have a stone comparator there. And that just say too heavy. So then you know that when the light goes on, that is what it means. So that's the way the, the weighing that. is going to work. The way the weighing is going to work. I love saying that. Ah. And then the other thing we need to do is the the luggage compartment so uh, it's a luggage compartment it's a luggage compartment guys Wall is once again going to be built up all the way to the, the ceiling. Uh, if any of my helpers want to do this here just behind the, the redstone lamps, that would be very, very helpful when I go and uh, do all of these uh, these finer details. And then these are going to be basically tracks that are going to. So basically, I'm just going to be adding them all the way up to the ceiling again, guys. And then them. And then um, all the way up to the ceiling, guys. And then um, all the way up to the ceiling. And then next we're going to go, like, whatever stampy did, we're going to copy it. Okay? I'm gonna copy his style, but like in my my very own colours. Like you see, lead all the way from here, uh, basically straight to the um, straight to where the plane is going to, to be. So I'm just gonna use this. Now we need another diamond pickaxe, guys. Now we need another diamond pickaxe to be able to, be able to do that. And this will lead... Now we need another block of quartz. What do we need, guys? Like, what do we need? Kind of the, the trail. It's normally on some sort of a conveyor belt or something. I think this is the, the best way that makes it look like a conveyor belt. So there's going to be two trails leading to this uh, this back wall. And then basically, you're not going to see your luggage again until you get to the... And then we're going to have, like... We're going to have, like, um... A block of coal, you see? For like example, a block of coal. That's what we're going to use. Like Diamond pickaxe, guys. Diamond pickaxe. Our block of coal again. And you'll never... S you will never see it again until you get on the plane. Okay? The other side. So we can do like a little ramp leading up inside of here. And then these tracks basically... Just need 
to to end up merging together. So let to end up merging together, guys. We end up merging together. Let's go make some, uh, some light contracts then, shall we? Uh, I don't need too many for now because we don't actually have the, um, the, the play for them to, to go to. I can't complete the entire track because it's basically going to be a track leading to, to nowhere. So we need to start off with some power rails, and I'm going to show you uh, how this is all going to, to work in a minute, how they're going to get powered. Uh, but then this is just going to launch them up here like this, and then they're going to go behind the scenes to the other side of this wall here. And then these two tracks basically need to, to link up to Ah, oh, that's what we need. We need, we need more railway tracks. Railway tracks. We have ones that we need. Have ones that we use. I think we use these ones and these ones. Have a together and then this track is going to go deep down under the ground here and then that to, to me so i'm just going to use this is black concrete and i'm going to use this as kind of good. the trail it's not good 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 good, good. Kind of this is going good right now this is the, the best uh way what does he use like, like i use like coal block i don't know what else we're going to use like the, the other side so we can do like a little ramp leading up inside of here and then these ramp. tracks basically just need to, to end up merging together. So let's go uh, let's go make some uh, some minecart tracks then, shall we? Uh, I don't need to. We got minecart tracks right here. We don't actually have the um, the the play for them to, to go to. I can't complete the entire track because it's basically going to be a track leading to, to nowhere. So we need to start off with some power rails, and I'm going to show you uh, how this is all going to work in a minute. How they're going to get powered, um, and then this is just going to launch them up here like this, and then they're going to go. Exactly, what is exactly in the scenes to the other side of this wall here, and then these two tracks basically need to, to link up to, together. And then this track is going to go deep down under the ground here, and then that is basically going to be the, the underground area that all of the, the luggage is going to, to be taken to until it's taken to the, the plane.
first you go. So basically, I have like this. So this track's going to go down like that. And this is the only kind of semi-tricky bit where you need to, to make sure all of this links up. I think this might be just about perfect. There we go. So no matter which track the, the minecart goes down, it's going to end up going straight down there. Anyway, let it... Basically, whichever one you choose, okay, whichever one you choose, will be the one that will go down straight to the plane. Basically, guys, I'm trying to like um. I'll be able to tell if it's working. So now we want to go get another lever. Great. Which I'll be able to tell if it's working or not. And then here, this is where the, the lever needs to, to be. So let's just kind of drop down here so I can mark it. So I think, not the lever, sorry, the, the piston. So I believe the piston has to be here. And then this block will go there. I don't know. It needs to go one higher. I did it in the, the right place, but it just needs to be one higher than I did it now. So let's go and grab the, the piston. We need to go to, to this height. That's where the block's going to be. So that's how it's going to be down. And then I need to make sure that this block gets lifted up. So then the, the mine cart can go and get sent away. So let's actually go and make a mine cart. But let's just go and make a mine cart so we can put it down. And then we'll be able to, to test it properly. Of course, this is going to be a mine cart, which is going to lead to, to nowhere. And it's going to be a good way to, to be able to, to actually test it. So uh, right then. The, this part should be relatively simple because the lever, the lever should. Um, I need a like a sticky piston.
There guys, now it's been uncovered. Now it's been uncovered guys, now it's been uncovered. What's that? If I just do some redstone maybe maybe coming from down here. So the countertop is actually gonna make this easier because it basically means I can do redstone leading straight from where that is. So if I have the redstone literally right there, there we go. We can see that the, the piston has been lifted up already. So that is kind of step one of the, the problem already solved. And now we just need to, to do this redstone coming down here and we can loop it around. The thing is though, is we need to, to make sure that when you press it, it's uh, it's switching it on rather than kind of the other way around. So let me go and uh, see exactly where the, the power rail is compared to the piston. Is it right next to it? So the piston says, yeah, it's just one back is where we need the, the lever to, not the lever, sorry, the, the redstone torch to, to be, which is gonna actually set off this power rail. The problem is though, is when I put this here, the minecart's probably going to get fired off, basically because it's going to be powered already. So what we need to have happen is so that this torch is always off, apart from when you go and actually press the, the button. And so the way we're going to do that is we can loop this redstone around here and basically switch the, the redstone around so that it's always off like it is now until a signal turns off this redstone torch. And if you don't understand what I'm saying, it doesn't matter. You don't need to understand. As long as you can kind of just copy exactly what I do, then hopefully it should be working for you as well. Because this would be a cool thing to have working as well, to have a, a working lug luggage system. So as we can see, the, the minecart has been launched off into the, the distance exactly as I expected that it would be so we can now switch this ground to a button but this is a good sign this is a good sign that it may actually be working so let's go and grab the, the minecart back and now we can go and do a proper test with the, the button and see if it's all working properly we can go and fill in this hole here as well i think this should be a uh, quartz down there and let's uh, let's do a bit of a, of a test then let's say i've come here and let's say this is my let's go Oh, there we go. There it is. <laughs> through through the, the gap. Can you pr just place it down and then roll it and then I'll catch it, William Beaver. I think that's the, the way to, to do it. <laughs> Thank you. You're like behind the scenes. You're one of the, the luggage gremlins that live behind here. Right. If you stand to the other side, though, there's going to be a mine cart coming down there in just one second. So right then, this is my luggage. I'm going to place it. Oh, I need to weigh it first. Let me go and weigh it. Is it too heavy? Nope, it is perfect the, the way it is. Jolly good. Oh, I'm too heavy though, apparently. Yeah, that would be my cakes for breakfast would do that to, to me. <laughs> but my luggage is okay. That's what matters. So I'm going to place down the luggage, press the button, that lifts up, and there we go. Off goes my luggage. Very, very slowly. Is it going to make it? A little bit further, and there we go. Down it drops. So what I could do is I could just add another power rail on either side here. And then that means it's going to... Huh? Got add some dirt, guys. Let's just got add some dirt. Where the dirt where's, where's is. The luggage gremlin. Luggage gremlin. Luggage gremlin. We have luggage that needs collecting on the other side. I think he might have. Is he, is he gone? That's a grass part. I don't know where the luggage gremlins are. Oh, there it is. There's normal turks. <laughs> <laughs> and then the luggage just goes and appears again. Right, let's do another test now. Then now I added the, the extra power rail, and let's see if it's going to, to be able to, to fire off that a little bit faster than it did before. So I press the button. And there we go! And it went flying down there. That couldn't be working any better. That is perfect. So what we'll do then is we can lock up this hole now because this is done. So of course I need to do the exact same thing on this side. I don't want to do it again now because you'll just see me doing it once before. It'd be boring if I do the, the exact same thing again. And good job! Good job, luggage gremlin. You've been promoted to the queue, gremlin, and you can help me build the, the queue. To, to, to get into the luggage. So if I just throw you, if I just throw some iron, you can build the uh, build the queue leading to, to here, my my very good queue gremlin. Anyway, and so yeah, while William Beaver does that, I'm just gonna go and make a, uh, a chest. And then this is basically gonna be full of my cards. And the reason why we uh, we need that is because, oh, I think, no, no, there's the, the chest here. So this is basically because when you get up here, you're gonna have your, your luggage, which is basically gonna be signified by the, the chest, but then, you want to have a place full of all of these different mine cards so you can go and grab them. But now I'm just using this to just to like empty all of my pockets because I've just got a bunch of <laughs> a bunch of rubbish on me which I don't need. And it's always annoying me when I have too much stuff in my pockets. So let's just go and empty all of that out. And let's take a tour of the place then. So this is basically all going to be queuing. That's, that's basically what the, the whole check-in area involves. There's a whole load of queuing. So my queue runner is going to, to do that now. So basically it's going to be queues where you kind of go back and forth like this until you get to the, the checkout. Then this is where you're going to go to... Uh, to 
what you're going to do is if you're a DNA lotion, then you can stand out, you can uh, join us now. So there's going to be a security bomb here. Through here, this is going to be where the, the duty free is going to be. So this is all going to, to be blocked off here. This tunnel is going to keep going down even further there. So you won't even be able to see this. Actually, we could go and dig a little bit more of this down here. But this is uh, basically going to go down there like that and then go down like underneath there somewhere. And then that's going to lead uh, all the way to the, the airport. Uh, but for now, this entire area here uh, is going to, to be blocked off because we don't need to, to see any of this stuff. Sorry, Chloe, I know you're you're there checking my red side. I think I did my rest on okay, by the way, Polly. I saw that she was non-stop supervising me the, the entire time, so <laughs> I feel confident in case things didn't go well. And then this is going to be basically like the, the waiting area, and then you're going to go around the uh, outside here, which is where the, the actual uh, helicopter and then the plane is going to, to be as well, as you go and launch into the, the sunset, which is going to be on the, the distance over there. So that's basically how the, the entire layout is going to, to be. Uh, this chicken area is pretty much done the, the way it needs to be. The only other big thing that I need to, to add in is some, uh, some lights. There's going to be a bunch of lights. I don't really want to use torches. I kind of wanted it to, to look a little bit more modern, I guess. So instead of using torches, I'm going to instead use... Um, uh, just glowstone. So I'm just going to go uh, around here. I guess we could do them at about... Let's place the glowstone at this height, then we could do bars, kind of holding them up like that. And so I'll probably do them on the, the columns, like... There we go. Oh, guys, this is where we're at. This is where we're at. We need light in here, guys. We need light in here, you see? We need light in here. Guys, now water everywhere. Now, guys, let's go get some blue, light blue concrete. Okay, let's go get some light blue concrete. So we can build the walls of check-in. Still behind the scenes back here. here guys this is behind the scenes back here so obviously we're trying to do things that that is not
Where's security going to be? Southwind uh, to say uh, is going to, to be with a. Where's security going to be, guys? Where's security going to be? So basically, you don't know how this works. If I put this next to the, the weighted pressure plate, basically the redstone is going to go further along, depending. Now, so let's go and grab the, the piston. We need to I don't know where the security is going, so going, going to be, guys. Going to be. That's how it's going to be down. And then I need to make sure that this floor gets lifted up, so then the, the mine car can go and get sent away. So let's actually go and make a mine car. But let's just go and make a mine car so we can put it down, and then we'll be able to, to test it. We can now switch this ground to a button. But this is a good sign. This is a good sign that it may actually be working. So let's go and grab the, the mine car back. And now we can go and do a, a proper test with the, the button and see if it's all working properly. We can go and fill in this hole here as well. I think this should be a uh, course down there. And uh, let's uh, let's do a bit of a, of a test then. Let's say I've come here and let's say this is my. Oh, is it gone? Where did the? Did I not pick up the mic up? Oh, there we go. There it is. <laughs> throw through the, the gap. Can you throw, to place it down and then roll it and then I'll catch it, William Beaver. I think that's the, the way to, to do it. <laughs> Thank you. You're like behind the scenes. You're one of the, the luggage gremlins that live behind here. Right, if you stand to the other side, though, there's going to be a mine cart coming down there in just one second. So right then, this is my luggage. I'm going to place it all. I need to weigh it first. Let me go and weigh it. Is it too heavy? Nope, it is perfect the, the way it is. Jolly good. Oh, I'm too heavy, though, apparently. Yeah, that would be my cakes for breakfast would do that to, to me. <laughs> but my luggage is okay. That's what matters. So I'm going to place down the luggage, press the button, that lifts up, and there we go. Off goes my luggage. Very, very slowly. Is it going to make it? A little bit further, there we go, down it drops. So what I could do is I could just add another power rail on either side here. And then that means it's going to, to launch off with a, a little bit more purpose than it did. And where's where's the luggage gremlin? Luggage gremlin! Luggage gremlin, we have luggage that needs... So guys, let's go get another power, power rail because... um. He's had a little bit more purpose in it, doing it. So maybe we destroy this rail, get that rail on there. That rail there, good. And a little bit more purpose there. It's collecting on the other side. I think he might have. Is he, is he gone? He might have wandered off. I don't know where the luggage gremlin's gone. Oh, there it is. There's the luggage gremlin. <laughs> and then the luggage just goes and appears again. Right, let's do another test down then. Now I added the, the extra power rail. And let's see if it's going and to. And there we go. There we go. So I press the button, and there we go. And it went flying down there. That couldn't be working any better. That is perfect. So what we'll do then is we can clog up this hole now because this is done. So, of course, I need to do the exact same thing on this side. I don't want to do it again now because you've just seen me doing it once before. It'll be boring. What is it? The exact same thing again. And good job. Good job, uh, Marcus Gremlin. Going. You've been promoted okay. to the okay. Gremlin. Have you fixed that yet? No, no but, like, I'm streaming. Okay. I presume you're down on the telly, I'm um, Do you know that you're speaking in the middle of the stream you now? You should be now? making your bed, John. Do you know that you're speaking in the middle of the stream now? What? You're speaking in the middle of the stream. I just started streaming and now, now you're speaking in the middle of it. Right, Mum's not back here. Oh, yeah. What? What's going on? Help me build the, the I wish I could, like, to, to, to I wish I could, like, go, like, get, mind. like, um, the, uh, security uh, net, like, like. Very good cute gremlin. Anyway, and so yeah, while William Beaver does that, I'm just going to go and make a, uh, a chest. And then this is basically going to be full of minecarts. And the reason why we uh, we need that is because, oh, I think... There we go, there's no where, chest here. So where is it going? It's basically because when you get up here, you're going to have your, your luggage, which is basically going to be signified by the, the chest. But then you want to have a place full of all of these different minecarts so you can go and grab them. But now I'm just doing this to, just to like empty all of my pockets because I've just got a bunch of... <laughs> A bunch of rubbish on me, which I don't need, and it's always annoying me when I have too much stuff in my pocket. Do I have too much stuff, guys? Then let's take a tour of the place, then. So this is basically all going to be queuing. That's that's basically what the, the whole check-in area involves. There's a whole load of queuing. So my queue gremlin is going to, to do that now. So basically, no, that.
in this wall behind the ceiling. Excuse me, can I go back and forth? Now we want to add like, like normal things like stone bricks or something like that. No, smooth stone! We need smooth stone guys, that's what we need. Now I'm gonna have light blue concrete. What's next, guys? Light blue concrete. Especially we've got the next part in. Basically, guys, I've got the chicken here. Now we're going to add that to the ceiling. Thank you. 
this until you get to the, the checkout. Then this is where you're going go to uh, to, to go and do security. And hello, Sherman. You can stand out. You can uh, join us now. So there's going to be a security bot here. Through here, this is going to be where the, the duty free is going to be. So this is all going to, to be blocked on here. This tunnel is going to keep going down even further there so you won't even be able to see this actually we could go and dig a little bit more of this down here but this is uh basically going to go down there like that and then go down like underneath there somewhere and then that's going to lead uh, all the way to the the airport uh, but for now this entire area here uh, is going to, to be blocked off because we don't need to, to see any of this stuff sorry polly i know you're you're there checking my red zone hopefully i did my red zone okay by the way polly i saw that she was non-stop supervising me the, the entire time so <laughs> i felt confident in case things didn't go well and then this is going to be basically like the, the waiting area. And then you're going to go out uh, outside here, which is where the, the actual uh, helicopter and then the plane is going to, to be as well as you go and launch into the, the sunset, which is going to be on the, the distance over there. So that's basically how the, the entire layout is going to, to be. Uh, this check-in area is pretty much done the, the way it needs to be. The only other big thing that... Guys, I got um something real quick. I gotta do something real quick. I gotta go get my charger. Where my charger is, let me go get it. There's my charger, guys. There's my charger. I just need to go charge my phone. No, no, I mean my, no, I mean like my, I mean my laptop because my laptop is about to run out again. I need to make sure I can continue the stream. Well. I'll do this right about now, actually. It's going very good, guys, because we've actually got, like, we've actually got, like, um... We've actually got, like, most of it done, guys. We've got, like, checking done. Um, we've got the... Got the. Well, what else do we need to add in, guys? I guess so. Instead of using torches, I'm going to instead use um, uh, just glowstone. So I'm just going to go uh, around. So basically, guys, so basically, uh, I've just got like. um this height, then we can do bars, kind of holding them up like that. And so I've already done them on the, the columns like this then. So basically, as if these are a bunch of lights, but then I might do uh, mm. some more kind of a dangling uh, down from the, the ceiling as well. Uh, just to, to light up the, the place even more than it is right now. And then I might also add some, some trap doors on to the front of these as well, just to add a little bit more decoration. I always like doing that. It kind of makes them look more like actual proper lights rather than blocks of magical glowing stones, which is <laughs> basically what they, they are when you think about them. And I face one on the top as well from here. There we go. So yeah, we can go and uh, add all of these trap doors on these lights as well. But as I said, that is pretty much how this area is going to, to be then. So in the next episode, we will be coming through here and I will be building a security bot, which is once again something that I'm very excited for you to see. If you like the checkered bots, you are going to love our security Pots. But sadly, that is the, the end of, uh, of this episode here. I want to say a huge thank you uh, for my helpers for being as helpful as they always are. A huge thank you to, to Sherman for, for being with us and joining us and being today's mascot. And of course, a very big thank you to you for watching. And I will see you all. Especially guys, we got, we're going to continue building these walls down here, you see? section there, a security pass, a 
好了。Where do we want the doors, guys? Where do we want the doors? We have doors like there. Good. We have doors like there. Five thirty-eight. Five thirty-eight. Five thirty-eight is the one. This is basically going to be, you know, the machine. If you as you can see, it's absolutely 538 guys, we need to do this. So, 538, the episode, like, it's really good guys. I've had like, lots of stuff going on, and it's been really, really good. Yeah. Well, let's wait for Stampy to get to, get to the same airport now. A little bit of a list we need to do today. We need to get the security bot done. For the security, we're going to do the duty free shop. What does it say? What does it say? What does it say? What does it say? I don't know, actually. I'll just get rid of these things. Still quite a lot to do with just one video before the same. Okay, guys. Okay, guys. They're bringing dogs. They're bringing dogs. We're not going to do that. That's why we're going to like. That's why we're doing this stuff in creative mode before we get started on survival mode. You see, we're doing really good here. It's really good. I've got like merch. Like, yeah. House is literally right there. It can really be much closer. It's just this one. Kind of ugly burning building. My house is much closer to my airport. Yeah, it's exactly what the layout is. Um, we can watch that one. Redstone. I don't care about redstone. This is our canvas. This is where we're going to, to be building into today's episode. So uh, let's go and get started then. So this is going to be where the, the security bot is. And that is the first thing that I want to, to build. That's the, the thing that I'm most uh, excited about building. And uh, I need to, to start building it uh, around about here. I'm just doing a little bit of a, of a gap between the, the wall here so you can walk around this side. But this is basically going to be, you know, the machine, if you've been to an airport, that, that kind of scans all your luggage. So you go put it on here and it goes for like a, an x-ray and they can see inside of it and i always try and get a look at the screen so i can see what the, the inside of my luggage looks like i bet everyone does that <laughs> and uh, yeah that's basically what yeah, the exactly security bot is. basically a giant robot version of one of those machines and everything's going to be once again automatic that's basically the the fee for this place is everything is going to be automatic so the first thing we need is a way that your uh, all of your stuff uh, is going to be pushed across i guess it would be your bag and I can go and choose which dog is going to be joining us today. And then, right, there's a little bit worry about that. And then, yeah, this is our this is our canvas. This is where we're going to, to be building into today's episode. But I'm trying to repeat so, it so, so I can so like know the, the, how many blocks it is. And that is the first thing that I want to, to build. That's the the thing that I'm most uh, excited about building. And uh, I need to to start building it uh, around about here. I'm just doing a little bit. Of where though? I don't know. I'll talk about down there later on. This is where the, the redstone is. So we're, so we're right about here, guys. To, to go, so I've dug that out uh, ready for me, so I don't need to worry about that. And then, yeah, this is our this is our canvas. This is where we're going to, to be building into today's episode. So uh, let's go. So, 
with him. So this is going to be where the, the security bot is. And that is the first thing that I want to, to build. That is the, the thing that I'm most uh, excited about building. And uh, I need... Right about here, guys. Right about here. One, two. Exactly. Airport, that, that kind of scans all your luggage. So you go. Scans all your luggage and all, all that, yeah. On here, now it goes for like an x ray and they can see inside of it. And I always try and get a look at the screen so I can see what the, the inside of my luggage looks like. I bet everyone does that. Basically, guys. Uh, yeah, that's basically. Especially, guys, I had to like a giant robot version of one of those machines, and everything's going to be once again automatic. That's basically the the beam. And I have like stone slabs, smooth stone slabs. No normal stone slabs. Normal stone slabs. Places, everything is going to be automatic. So, the first thing we need is a way that your uh, all of your stuff that is going to be pushed across. I guess it would be your bag. I mean, if I had a shulker box, it would be perfect, but for now, I guess we can just kind of scan through everyone's items individually and just do it that way instead. So, uh, yeah, the way it's going to work is we're going to have a uh, iron trap door here, and then here. We're going to, to have a dispenser. Oh! Didn't mean to do that. Did not mean to do that. Didn't mean to, to pull the entire way down there. Ah, that's a problem when I dig up the, the hole early as I can end up falling through it. But yeah, the dispenser's going to be here on this level. And this is going to fire out water. I want to add a dispenser. Where do we find dispensers? So do water across there. We're just going to push the uh, the items along here and then in to the. And we want like a wooden trap door, guys. We want a wooden trap door. Security bot itself, and so let's go and uh, build the, the security bot. Uh, basically, it's going to be like a big, a big boxy robot along here, and then on the end, we're going to, to have. Didn't mean to do that. Did not mean to do that. Didn't mean to, to pull the entire way down, man. Ah, that's a problem when I dig up the... the See, guys, like we're trying to, like, build this thing. The dispenser's going to be here on this level. And this is going to fire out water, which is going to push the uh, the items along here and then in to the security bot itself. And so let's... And let's go use, like, coal. Call. And to build them. We're going like that, guys, like that. The security box uh, basically is going to be like a big, a big boxy room. Oh, 
I love here. And then on the end, we're going to, to have a dropper, which is going to be the thing that fires out the, the item in the, the end. And so while it's going through the, the x-ray, No need like a dropper, guys. No need like a dropper. I forgot left some light in here, guys. I'm just going to a bunch of hoppers. Uh, I think it's going to be the, the best way to, to do it, just to move it along. So I need to make uh, a few chests just to make the hoppers. One, two, and We're three. doing good here, and guys. Then basically, the, the We're doing good here. going to, to put the items into the hoppers. The hoppers are going to put it into the next hopper, into the next hopper, and then into the... Now we're going to have, like, three hoppers. At the end, so we got dispenser, water, hopper, dropper. Try and say that fast. Dispenser, water, hopper, dropper. Dispenser, where? Blah, blah, blah. I can do it, 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 I can Try that uh, at home and uh, have everyone look at you thinking that you're crazy while you do it. <laughs> anyway, so that's basically the way it's going to, to work. You're never going to forget now. I basically came up with a, a jingle. Yep, I came up with a jingle too. Now we want to go to smooth stone, smooth stone like that. No, 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 no. Smooth stone, smooth stone like that. You're never going to, to forget how it works. So uh, there's one more thing. There's one more addition as well. Uh, so when it goes through the X-ray. Oh yeah, exactly. Exactly like that. I want a way to, to make it obvious that it is being X-rayed. So I'm gonna have some redstone lamps. So basically, as it goes. Redstone lamps again. Why more redstone lamps? Why do you need redstone lamps in these? Both the rules, guys. It's the rules. And these redstone lamps are going to, to light up and basically go like wah, 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 so I guess I'm actually going to make the noise, but I can make the noise as it does it. Basically, to make it as if it's been x rays. No one's going to do a block of coal. A block of coal. Wah, wah. Basically, as it goes through, uh, these redstone lamps are going to, to light up and basically go like wah, wah, wah. So I guess I'm actually going to make the noise, but I can make the noise as it does it. Basically, to make it as if it's been x rayed. So that's kind of all of the, the mechanics stuff. I'm going to do the redstone sped up. So I'm not going to spend the, the whole episode doing redstone. Don't worry about that. I am going to have to do the redstone. I am going to get it all working in today's episode. But I did a lot of redstone in the, the last episode, so I thought that today I'd give you a, a redstone break. <laughs> And uh, I will show you how it works for those of you that do want to, to build it, but um, everyone else, no worries. Redstone is. You see, guys, I'm doing very well here. In today's episode. But what we are going to do is we're going to turn this X ray machine into a robot. So. We'll turn this X ray machine into a robot. You see, guys? Wah, wah. 
lifting up put the, the robot's head on. It's going to be up the, the top here, facing that way like that. It needs to be a smart. So let's go and uh, make the, the robot a tie as well. I guess we can make uh, a few of these ties. We're going to be making uh, a few robots to today. So there we go. Here's the, the robot's tie. And he wouldn't be part of Sticks gone. I don't know where the sticks are. I actually don't know where the sticks are now. Where are the sticks? Where are the sticks? didn't have the, the right coloured hat on as well. So let's go and go to, to light up and basically go like wah, wah, or so I guess it's actually going to make the noise, but I can make the noise as it does it. Basically to make it as if it's going to be up the, the top here, facing that way like that. It yeah, exactly. Exactly. I don't know how I'm going to make, make a... Um... Well. I guess we can make a, a few of these ties. We're going to be making a, a few robots to today. So there we go. Here's the, the robots tie and... It in crazy mode, where do you get sticks from? Where do you get sticks from, guys? I don't know where you get sticks from. I don't know where I get sticks from. Ah, oh, there are the sticks. Sticks there. Oh, you got to deal with wool. Light blue wool? Oh. 
Light blue wall. Light blue wall then. Why can't I add item frames? I'm going to add some more smooth stone. Or smooth stone again. Like, why? I can't even add banners. I don't need these. Let's just go get some wool guys. Or well, maybe we'll just go add some diamond. Add some diamond. As we can't do it like that. So let's go add some um levers. Going on with the logo now. Good. That's good now. Now we've got actual security bars. No chicken bar. I mean.
put an actual security part there. Wouldn't be part of the, the airport crew if he didn't have the, the right coloured hat on as well. So let's go and make, uh, uh, yeah, we've got some uh, some hats here. And let's go and jump up and put that off the top there as well. And it looks like he's uh, he's having his lunch. He's on his lunch break. This is his first day working. He's already having a lunch break. <laughs> so there, there we go. This is a uh, security bot. Let me uh, introduce you to. This is security bot. Let me introduce you to you. There it is. Along with a light blue banner. Good. Light blue banner. So, uh, of course, that is going to be how all of your luggage uh, gets x-rayed. But then uh, we also need a, a way for, for you to be x-rayed just to, to see if you've got any coins or anything in your in your pocket so uh, let's go and build the the x uh, x-ray machine which is going to be for the the people so it's going to be in a pretty similar way sorry luna let me just nudge you across to the, the side here and basically it's going to be very very simple there's going to be two redstone lamps there and then there's going to be a pressure plate in the middle um, oh and well, i did have a shower oh, yeah. yeah i did yeah oh, well i had one like earlier Oh, well done, good boy. Yeah. What are you doing? Doing a stream right now. You're not here? You're not live? Why not live? What's this? Got me on it. No, I haven't got you on it. No, my voice. George. It doesn't matter about that, though. We can still manage that. Okay. I need to go home. Okay, good. Good. Right. Uh, guys, let's go get some redstone lamps there. Do you know what happened? Okay, because when I got out of the shower, I, I was going to wait for you to get the plastic thing out of the so. Yeah. Now, guys, let's go get, like... And there's going to be no fancy redstone here. It's basically just not going no to work. No fancy basically, redstone. Every what? time someone goes through it, it's going to set it off. Because that's pretty much how they work. In my experience, no matter what you have in your pockets, like, I go through with absolutely nothing in my pockets. I take my shoes off. I do everything... I'm going to have like this block, like, you see, I'm going to have like this block here, about here, a normal block of corpse, normal block of corpse, guys, normal block of corpse. What did, what did Stampy do? That I'm told to do, and I always still set them off anyway, so I assume that they're set just to all... No, I might want to go get, like... Just get, like, normal smooth stone, guys. Get an iron bar. Let's get an iron bar, guys. Let's go get an iron bar. Here's the security. Here's security, guys. Go off no matter what. And so that is the, the way this one's going to work. 
to, to learn. So I'm basically just making now. I don't know why I keep making these. I'm making way too many of these stone slabs. I got a million of them already, and I just keep making them. I'm wasting all of my all of my stone because of it. But yeah, basically, uh, this is going to be like a, a gate, which is going to go like that. I think that's roughly kind of the, the right shape of color for, for what these things are. And then the, the last thing I need to, to add in is just a So now I've got a gate ready for security, guys. Now, I'm pressure plate is going to be on the, the ground down here, and then we can uh, we can demonstrate. We can see if uh, there's any metal inside of that cookie. So the cookie's clear. The cookie has no. Well, let's go get like um a pressure plate. We we'll go get a pressure plate, guys, because that's what we need exactly. If we want to go past. It's picking up your leggings, and then I'm guessing it's going to pick up my boots just like that. Let me do an experiment. Let me take my boots off and see if I, see if I still set it off, shall we? And no, see, with my boots off, I don't set it off. And then if I put my boots back on and walk through it again, and oh, oh, <laughs> I see what you're trying to do there, Fizzy. I see what you were, I see what you're trying to do. We kind of, we kind of have the same mind, but did it differently, I guess. <laughs> I know the security is going to, to work, so I'm going to go get the, the rest of working then. So I won't bother refreshing it now. I'll explain it once it's, uh, it's done. And all you need to know is that I'm going to add a button on the, the front here. And then button on the front? The, the button that's going button to on the front. Off. And then another thing I should do is I should block the... Button on the front, button on the front, button on the front. We want a button on the front, don't we? Button on the front. Button on the front, guys. Button on the front. Water as well. So, is this water's going to go the entire way through? So, let's put down uh, some iron bars there. The item should still go in. And put some iron bars on this side as well. Um Iron bar there, good. Iron bar there. Iron bar there. We're doing good here, guys. Put some more trapdoors on this side as well, just because I think it's going to, to look good. So let's go and make. I don't have any on me. I have a tendency of always having something in my inventory and then crafting it again anyway. So I just wanted to, to make sure I did it. Um, yeah, let's just go and do some trapdoors here, uh, just to, to kind of make it look more like a cookie machine. So a trap door. We want a trap door, don't we? We want a trap door. That's how it's going to look like on the, the top. So I'm going to go downstairs now and do all the, the redstone. And you're going to, to see that. And then we can go back up to the, the top and finish off the rest of this room. Guys, that will be the end of today's stream here today. Um, I think later in the in a few weeks I'll be doing doing the redstone. 
ready for ready for when the next stream is gonna come. Guys, that will be the end of that will that will be the end of today's stream here today. Thank you for joining it. Thank you for joining it guys and we'll see you next week guys. We'll see you next week. Bye bye guys.